Shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Welcome back, I'm Tedward, and thanks to Bond Group in Waltham, Massachusetts, we're driving one of the most important automobiles in history. This is the Citron 2CV. This one in particular is a 2CV6 Charleston, so it's a later model because Citron built these cars from 1948 until 1990. I actually don't know what year this particular car is, but it's probably safe to say we're somewhere in the 1980s. And being a later model meant that it had more power than the originals. This one has, wait for it, 29 horsepower. The original cars had about 9 horsepower, then I believe 12, 24, and then we end up with this, this little hot rod. And all that power is derived right up front here from this two-cylinder, well, it's a flat two-cylinder, air-cooled engine. And it's about 600, this one's a 602, I believe, CC layout. Now, this is like the opposite of a Volkswagen Beetle because a Beetle's goal was to have very, very small amounts of packaging, no drive shaft running down the car, which is why it's rear engine, so everything's right over the drive wheels. This 2CV is very similar because it is, in fact, front-wheel drive. So everything sits right up here. And if you want to talk quirks, these are full of them. So what you're noticing right here, that's actually the shifter coming through the firewall into the transmission. And when we get in the car and go for a drive, you're going to see how bizarre it is to shift this car. But the Citron really prides itself on its incredible suspension, which is very odd because you can just rock the car around. And the design language and goal of the suspension of this car was meant to be able to drive at about 30 miles per hour on a freshly plowed field without breaking your eggs. So that was France circa 1948. Now, the history of the car is especially cool because even though it didn't come out till 1948, the design for this car started in the mid-30s. And that's important because World War II toppled the original design for the car, which was made of aluminum, and it was called the TPV, the toute petite voiture, the very small car. And the very small car had a water-cooled engine, not an air-cooled engine, but once France went to war with Germany, the French were very nervous that they were going to give away trade secrets and potentially have Germany use a car like this, the TPV, for evil. So what they did was they buried them and ruined the rest. And many years later, when Citron finally picked up the ashes of the TPV project, they took an air-cooled approach and simplified the car even further. Let's get a plate on this thing because we've got a great little storage hatch. We can just pop this on here. This closes. Everything is just as manual as can be. That is for sure. And the rear seats. We've got plenty of room for your friends, although uh, the suspension changes dramatically depending on where everyone's sitting. So if you've ever been in like a small airplane where they've got to weigh people before you get in to make sure the weight and balance is all right, I think the Citron 2CV is a little bit similar to that. Even this bag is probably impacting the car to some extent. Now let's see if I can't get out of it. Shit. Ah, okay, good. We've rolled the top back for my driving pleasure, and let's just jump in and enjoy. It's very, very simple, but what you'll notice is there's no traditional manual shifter. It's very different. So, in order to shift this car, you do have a traditional H pattern with a dog leg first gear, if you'd like to call it that, but this is your shifter. So in order to go into reverse, you go like this, over and forward, then back is first, back to neutral, second, third, and fourth. And that is the shift pattern of the 2CV. I am very thankful to have seatbelts in this car. We have an e-brake here. I'll show you that in a second. We've got our choke. We'll pull that up just a little bit. We have been driving, so the car should be fairly warm. We've got a good neutral. Let's start her up. We have been driving a little bit, so it should be just fine, but on a very cold start, you'd want to use this choke down here and then just kind of feather it off. I'm actually going to choke it just a little bit to keep those revs up. And then we've got our e-brake and we're off to the races. The 2CV6 has traditional blinkers and of course, a great little horn to match its ridiculously small and adorable personality. In the first, No 
self canceling on the blinker stock and the revs drop incredibly slow. So between shifts, you've got to just be patient letting that clutch back out so that way you kind of match those revs back again. And there's Top Gear. That's a risky move, bud. I love a car that you've got to drive with an arm out the window. That's probably my favorite thing. All right. Easy to rev match, surprisingly. So just like the Fiat 500, it looks like we've got some shift indicators on our speedometer. So while we don't have a tack, it's telling us basically the top speed in first, second, third gear. Now, this having 29 horsepower versus about 12 or 13 in that Fiat 500, you know, it can do a lot more in that power band. And, uh, you know, I, I, I don't, I, it's got enough low end torque. It actually does get out of its own way okay. And 2CV, does not have a thermostat in this engine either. So it takes a little while to warm up. We've got some heat in it now. You can really, wow, what a hoot. <laughs> this is motoring, guys. This is motoring. Nice and easy over the speed bumps. This is what she's designed for. Oddly confidence inspiring. And yeah, you've got to reach pretty far for the shifter, but in a, in a Porsche Speedster, you had to reach pretty far for that shifter throw as well. So it's not that crazy. I mean, it looks a little nuts. And once you get used to the placement of the gates, it's just like, it's absolute gravy. You know, Marie Kondo always talks about what sparks joy, what do you keep in your life? This thing, this thing sparks joy. The suspension is crazy because every bump you hit has a few oscillations to it. And you know, any input to the brakes, not really the throttle, but the steering and the brakes has a pretty big impact on where you're going all over the road. So you wanna be smooth. If you wanna learn weight transfer, 2ZV might be the way to do it. Unbelievable. But what's really nice is that these brakes are really good. They inspire quite a lot of confidence. So, you know, sometimes you drive old timey cars, they feel scary. I mean, granted, this one's probably from the 80s, so it's not that old, but the technology certainly is. It's pretty insane that people were buying this in the 1980s. This thing does not look like it's from the 1980s. It certainly still looks like it's from the 1940s. But she chugs along really well. I mean, I kind of wish that I had a tachometer just to know what we're doing. I mean, you're not gonna take this thing out to a highway, although maybe you could do like 50 miles an hour and just stay chill in the right lane. Uh, but what I'm really surprised is just how enjoyable and like not scary it is. I expected this car to be really terrifying and it's quite the opposite. It's like a little friend. It's just my little friend. And I just wanna keep driving my little friend. Look at that, red light, good brakes, light car, right to a stop, not a problem. So 
So far the biggest shock of this car is just how lovely it is to engage with all of it. I mean, this shifter, you know, if you drive some old Porsches, even, even 1980s Porsches, the 915 gearbox, they're so crunchy and notchy and frustrating. Somehow the 2CV has one of the most delightful shifters I think I've ever had the privilege of engaging with. This is fantastic. Look, we're so narrow, we can just kind of go between all the bumps. And even then, sure, there's some rattles and noise and things like that, but nothing crazy. This is great. What a joy. This really is the French people's car. And these little air-cooled engines, they were incredibly reliable. It said that they could go like 50,000 miles at wide open throttle. That's what they were designed for. So these things could really be abused. It's so narrow that you can just kind of navigate the world really easily in this thing. Look at that. Oh, what a, what a hoot. Oh, it's so bouncy. And these seats are genuinely comfortable. Now in the early cars, I believe they were kind of just like wicker hammock looking. I don't even think they were wicker. I think they were just cloth, just canvas, like a hammock. But here we have these nice, flush, soft seats. Wonderful. And look, we're cruising along 70 kilometers an hour. No problems at all. I couldn't be happier. I love this thing. I want to keep driving it. What I love about cars like this is their history because this is the car that helped mobilize rural France. I mean, if you think about what France was in the 1940s and 50s, you know, they're rebuilding from a war. There's probably a lot of unpaved roads. There's probably a lot of farmers and, and, and people just working out in rural middle of nowhere areas. They've got to get around. They've got to be able to get products to market, families to things, going to events, uh, even just getting around town for meetings and, and arranging their businesses. Cars really transformed the way we were able to move around. And this was considered a, a driving umbrella. And really the idea there is you can get four people under it and move. And, and this is the best. I love it. Everybody loves this thing. Everybody goes nuts for the 2CV. I think the original 2CV was supposed to get like 80 miles per gallon or some massive number like that. They were very efficient, but I mean, that's what you get when you get a little tiny engine and no weight. Having the roof off of this thing too, it just opens the whole experience. So, I mean, I'm part of the world. I feel like I'm one with nature in my 2CV. I just could not be happier. This is so cool. What a great fall weather car. I'm shocked we don't see more of these driving around. I mean, this is actually really fun. I would own one of these. I now understand why Chris Harris has an old one. So guys, out here in the middle of nowhere, cornfields, beautiful fall weather in New England, that's the Citron 2CV. Trying to get, oh, there's some grapes, some wild grapes, getting our pure France vibes at the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. Thanks to Bond Group in Waltham, Massachusetts for making this happen, getting the opportunity to drive a part of automotive history. Don't you forget to respect the drive, and I'll see you in the next one. Today's video was sponsored by Squarespace. Connect with your audience and generate revenue through gated members-only content. Manage your members, send email communications, and leverage audience insights, all on one easy-to-use platform. Grow and engage your audience with Squarespace email campaigns. Create powerful email content that matches your website with existing products, blog posts, and logos so your messaging is consistent and effective. All websites are optimized for mobile. Content automatically adjusts so your site looks great on any device. Go to squarespace.com tedward to get a free trial and 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain.